Yeah, g'day. Just thought I'd share with you a project I've been working on. After reaching out on Facebook and talking to our very knowledgeable guy on there, we've discovered it's a 1974 Rover compost shredder. One of the first Rover ever built. It's built like a tank. All the metal's thick. There was no actual rust through anything. It was a little surface rust. So I took it right back, every component, sandblasted it right back to bare metal. Then done two coats of the Raptor primer. Let that go off, give it a light sand. Then two coats of Raptor 2K paint. And then two coats of the clear. I think it turned out pretty well, actually. Got some new warning stickers for the blades when they're rotating got a mate to help me make up some new decals still trying to work out if we should leave the shredder letters orange because that's what they were on the original sticker but I'm unsure if they were faded if it was originally red so we're gonna make another one up in red Put it on there and see what that looks like and there was a little badge on there rover badge which i'm going to get a mate to airbrush and see how that looks over that one there the blades have sharpened up replace the original bolts in it with high tensile ones. The next step is do I rebuild that old four horsepower? It was seized, but I have managed to get it unseized. But it's going to need a fair bit of work and bolt that back on there. Or I do have a brand new Briggs and Stratton 850 commercial in a box from another project that I never used. But to do that, I'm going to have to lave out the blade carrier because the original engine has a step shaft and the 850 doesn't. So, yeah, I mean. There's no spark on the engine. The rip starts broken. It's all stuff I can fix. That's not an issue. It's just, is it viable to restore the old one? I can get the parts. Same guy that managed to track down all the information on the compost shredder can give me the parts, he said. So that's uh, very helpful of him. It's been great talking to people that know the older equipment some shops just don't want to know about it this was originally my father's he bought it brand new I just never realized it was that old I've replaced all the nuts and bolts stainless steel nuts stainless steel bolts washers high tensile bolts and the blades I could have bought new blades but the new ones are actually thinner than these ones here so that's why I just decided that I would sharpen these up it's still got plenty of life in them so that's where I'm at so far I think it's turned out very well actually compared to what it was when I first pulled it out of storage the other thing I was going to get some new wheels for it but I just cleaned them up give them a bit of a brush over and figured I'd leave them with the original for the moment. I can change it for mine later if I need to. It's only wheels. So yeah. Alright. That's my Rover compost shredder restoration project so far. I'll do another update once I've decided which way I'm going to go with the engine. And when it's all reassembled and running. So you can all see how it goes. If you like the video, 
please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like my content. Have a good day.